Good morning all of you. Today, an accurate and rapid method for the specific identification in plot. Melting fingerprint in high resolution melting analysis. So let's start. Introduction. Species identification is required in various areas such as a systematics, systematic ecology conversation, evolution, agriculture, forensic, pharmacology, food science, and even industry. High resolution melting analysis is a new post PCR analysis technique which identifies genetic variation in nucleic acid sequence. <laughs> this method is based on the PCR melting dissociation curve technique to improve double standard DNA DS <coughs> to improve double standard DNA binding dying along with next generation real time PCR instrument and analyzing software. This method generates a melting fingerprint with a certain plant species. HRM analysis can be the disacramited dis, discramited DNA sequence based yeah, HRM analysis can DNA sequence based on their composition length GC content. HRM analysis detect the composition of length, composition and length of the DNA GC content or standard complementary. In this study, we use phalanthus. Um, Amaris, Palanthus Amaris and the closely related species to the performance of the HRM technique. The combination of DNA fingerprint method with HRM called melting fingerprint and MFIN HRM techniques. We perform the MFIN HRM techniques that is some main steps. First of all, in sequence analysis and primary designing. Sequence analysis and primary designing with the help of the AFLP. RFLP, RAPD, and ISSR. AFLP, amplifying fragment length polymorphism. RFLP, restriction fragment length polymorphism. RAPD, rapid analysis of polymorphic DNA. Random amplified polymorphic DNA. Random amplified polymorphic DNA. And ISSR, <coughs> interspecific sequence repeat. Interspecific sequence repeat. Then we extract DNA and amplify by the real-time PCR. PCR by fluorescent dye, which will lead DNA sequence 100 to 200 base pair. Melting curve analysis and statical data analysis using a specific HRM software. Then we forward move to the materials. Materials we choose the phalanthus species. Phalanthus species are the various type. Phalanthus amorphous, phalanthus urinaria, phalanthus devilis, and phalanthus virgutus. Phalanthus amorphous, P. amorphous, P. amorous, amorous, P. amorous, volume. P. amorous, urinaria, Diblus virgatus. Phalanthus are the important herbaceous plant for hepatoprotection. Hepatoprotection is a uh, phalanthus have a property to uh, hepatoprotection. They secrete some certain condition, uh, certain chemicals to with the help of the digestion of uh, hepatoprotection <clears throat> then forward move to the methods methods with dna isolation isolation of dna from the phalanthus leaf by the using of nucleus spin plant kit and then we perform then we select up the mark <coughs> then we select dna fingerprinting marker iss marker as interspecific intersequence Intersimple sequence report. Intersimple sequence report was chosen for DNA fingerprinting because of the no requirement of DNA sequence, small amount of, amount of DNA required, use of a single primer, and high reproducibility. Then we perform the PCR chain reaction, polymerase chain reaction. Polymerase chain reaction was the HRM was performed using a real time PCR with fluorescent data collection. Then sensitivity of MFIN HRM technology to determine the lower concentration of GC content in the reproducibility melting fingerprint by the melting fingerprint. Mm -hmm. And then adolescent tests, adolescent detection of the MFIN. The test is ability of MFIN HRM in adolescent detection. Adolescent detection is <coughs> the amount of DNA present in the first species in a PU. Phalanthus urinaria have a 10 
nanogram per microliter will mix together and a different proposition then we testing commercial product by the amfin hr commercial product like a capsule tablets dried materials and t influenza phalanxes product <coughs> we move through the results first of all select the issr primary screening for the amfin hrm technology for the issr primary screening for hrm high resolution melting we selected with 10 primers and we run 1.5% agrogel electrophysis with visualizer under the ultraviolet light. Then we got uh, some results in the basis of their bands. Here is the UBC 825 has a highest number of polymorphic band. There is a number of here you can show the <coughs> highest number of the polymorphic bands. Then we, then we move forward and select uh, three primer. First of all, we select 10 primer and then we selected a 3 primer, which have a, which have a highly, which have better results in a previous gel electrode. Then we select a 3 primer, then we select 3 primer and again we run electrophoresy, again we run a real-time PCR with fluorescent dye and detection of a high resolution melting fluorescent on the melting peak. <coughs> Here we can detect the some um, UBC 825 has a higher number of bands. There is a number of 10 bands so in our next one. Here is the phalanthus, but Pelunaria have a highest number of GC content rich. There is a 79.83. And P. Ulinaria has 75. And here is a 76 and 80 percent of the DNA present in there. So move forward with the sensitivity test of the Amphin or HRM. We cross out the P MFS and P even area crossing over. There be a species crossing over with the three primers UBC807 and UBC825 and further UBC827. We have a Used for the sensitivity test in the 25 microliter volume of in the there is the volume of UVC 825 as a higher than the another UVC 827 and UVC 807. Then we detect the ISS, <coughs> then we detection of a high resolution melting using the three ISS primer. Here is a melting peak and normalization plot. Melting peak has a higher number of DNA and higher number of GC rich content presence in this is P amorphous in a hundred percent. P amorphous there is a hundred percent and there is a fifty percent, twenty-five, twelve, eight, and three and one percent. And here you can show high <coughs> in the F the graph has been shifted toward the lowest and here is the red color with the highest number. Here, highest graph will be shifted to right side due to the rich, due to the presence of yeah, high GC content rich. And move forward, Amphin high using UVC8 for phalanxia species. Then we perform another HRM for the phalanxia species. We select here is the for the detection of a species with genomic DNA of P functions and we selected four DNA sample and reproduction with the amphine with the different herbicides for another species to normalize A and a different F with the normalized species species undertaken of the phalanxes amorphous using <coughs> amphine with the UVC 807 here we selected one where we take a sample of a phalanxia species mainly 1 to 10 scale and n is a negative control where n is the representative of a negative flow then we have a show the results of the 1 2 and 3 phalanxes amorphous <coughs> phalanxes in area phalanxes <coughs> opli diblis phalanxes urinaria pirgatus 
have to show clear band. <coughs> then further move towards the discussion. Species identification of a plant based on molecular tools is in food and pharmaceutical science on control of to control the product quality. <coughs> plant species share common local names of the similar morphological character. The procedure to identification or authentication plants species using HRM coupled with ISS of fingerprint to regenerate multiple melting peak derived from various DNA fragments. Single acid primer or cutting is specifically called melting fingerprint. Use of alpha amasis alleles into the area. Out of 10 ISS primer, 3 primer ABC and the give independently different melting fingerprint of each species. DNA fingerprinting of P amorphous using UVC827 have a highest number of clear band. There is a six band, and UVC825 has a highest number of <coughs> six clear band in a DNA fingerprint. MFIN HRM more complicated than bar SM due to MFIN methods use only a single primer or generate of melting fingerprint. Conclusion <coughs> MFIN HRM provide a noble and Rapid technique with high reproductivity and reproductibility to add special identification or authentication for four phalanxes species. Plant species need to be analyzed to create a reference database. Further, this method can be utilized for the quality control or medicinal products in their industrial scale. So, thank you.